Hello friends! So I'm re-recording my fishing tutorial because I had some audio issues on the old fishing tutorial, but I'm going to try to cover everything in here. Um, let's start with the t first place that you're going to start fishing is down here in uh, Lechtenberg. This is the beach that you're going to do the sardines. Um, and there's two fishing pods here. They both have sardines in them. That's the only thing you can get in them. Um, this is going to be where you're using the very basic fishing pole. Do not use your your bait. You do not need the bait to fish those sardines. Um, there are even some larger fish that you can get without bait in the beginning time to help both with restoring your health and with increasing the money that you're bringing in through shipping every day because fishing is where you're going to make the money. So when you first leave the area for the tutorial, you're going to follow this area past this farm right here and there's a bunch of apple trees that you're going to come down here for. Right in this fishing area, there is going to be a bunch of larger sized fish that are right next to the edge of the pool. At least for me, they've been that way for the most part. And um, they're, they're going to be mostly walleye, but they are worth two hearts of stamina, which is a lot better than anything that you're going to come across while you're in this area in the beginning time when you're trying to keep your stamina up when it's needed the most. So if you go down here, you can fish right here and get some walleye worth two hearts over here right behind this farm and you're going to pass right through here on your way to Providence. Right here there is a fishing pod that has arowana in it and they've got um, red crawfish in it. Everything in there is going to be worth more than the sardines you can get in the beginning area. The red crawfish are only a heart and a half for a no star heart or fish. Um, a one starfish generally has the same number of hearts as a no starfish, so eating them doesn't increase the stamina you get from the fish. It's, in my opinion, better to sell the one starfishes and keep the lower no starfishes if you're just going to be using them for energy or cooking, or if you're going to pass them in for some kind of a quest or a request. So I generally cook with no starfish. And I use the no starfish for energy reasons, and then I sell the fish that have stars. If you get three or, or two or more stars, you're going to start increasing the energy that it's worth, but also increasing the money that you get for selling it. So it's kind of a at your own risk thing. Just be careful that you're not uh, sending away fish that you mean to keep. Um, what I'm where I'm going to be fishing is going to be here in Lilikana. This is going to be where you get your first upgrade to the fishing pole. And the fishing pole that I'm currently using is that fishing pole that you upgrade to. I have all of the pieces and the parts and the village to the point that I can upgrade to the master fishing pole. Which I will do just to show you the difference in how easy it is to catch these much larger fish between the two poles with the only thing different being that I have the higher fishing pole. Bait does not make it any easier to catch fish aside from using it tactically in a way that I'm going to show you for fish that you have a hard time catching. So first thing, where I'm at right here is going to be where you're going to find the tuna and the mahi-mahi. Those are going to be uh, frequently requested items. You're going to need to make some ahi pokey for the quest here in Lilikana. This is where you're going to find those fish, right here on this X pier at the very far end of Lilikana. There are fishing spots here, here, basically everywhere that you see a, a pier poking off into nowhere, there is a fishing spot. But this X-shaped pier is where you're going to find the tuna and the mahi-mahi. Now, there is also a requirement for the jumbo grilled fish in order to open up your fishing festival and in order to get Brandon to start 
traveling and the jumbo fishing recipe looks like you need dorado fish you do not i did not catch a single dorado to catch my jumbo grilled fish any fish that are considered jumbo which in this area where i'm going to be fishing there is smaller fish they look smaller those are sea bass they're much easier to catch but they are considered jumbo in size so you can use them to make your gr jumbo grilled fish in order to unlock that request and get lily Kana built up enough that you can get your master fishing pole so let me show you how to fish so first thing i'm going to walk all the way into the water up to the edge as close as it's going to let me get you're not going to scare any of the fish you can see the smaller fish is that uh, sea bass that i was telling you about let let me show you how to fish with the regular bait so when before you throw your uh, bait in you can move your indicator around using your left analog stick i would suggest if you're going to use bait pull it in very close to you especially if you have a big fish you want to catch because you can see look how far away that sea bass is and it's already got its attention and it's basically right on top of me so you get that exclamation point it'll bite you let go of the a as soon as it bites and then you're going to use your left analog stick to fight the opposite direction so this sea bass was moving to the uh, top left so i was pulling to the bottom right to make it harder and you'd see that the water kind of gets more um, violent and more splashed if you've got it in the right direction that tires out the fish faster and it goes into that um, more relaxed uh, position so you don't want to hold down a the whole time so you get the exclamation point you press a just to hook it then you fight the fish as soon as it goes into the um so here it's fighting i'm pushing against it now that it's in that relaxed uh non-fighting state i press and hold a fighting again press and hold a to reel it in and this is why you do it so close i only had to fight that mahi mahi two times before i was able to reel it in and this is just with the bronze fishing pole that you're going to get as part of the main story of unlocking and building up lily kana so this is probably the key about getting these larger fish you use the bait you pull this in and then um, rely on the bait this one's a little farther so i think i'm going to use a level two bait to get its attention over here and we'll see if we can lure it in that way now you never want to hold the a unless it is not fighting when it goes into the um basically just floating state where it's not moving you let go of the analog stick and you press and hold a until it starts fighting then you let go of a as soon as it starts fighting and start fighting against it with the left analog stick it takes a few times to get used to it but yeah, I think this one's going to make me work harder for it. So we're going to have to try pulling it out a little bit farther. And you'll see how hard this can be to get them in when they're farther. So the key is to pull it in close as you can to get, get these larger fish. Now before, once we get all of the fish out of this side, I'm going to move over to the other side of the X. Which can also have the Mahi Mahi and the tuna in it. But I'm going to upgrade my fishing pole so you can see how it is. See how low the tension is. This one's probably going to get away. I don't think I'm going to catch it. Yep, the fish got away. So it was just too far away with the fishing pole that I had. Even with the level 2 bait. Because the bait does not increase the ease. Aside from catching its attention when it's farther away so that it will bite and what we want it to do is to pull it in as close as we can and get it to bite and i just couldn't get that large fish to come in close enough that we could pull it in so here we're going to go over 
to the Lilikana workshop. We're going to purchase the master fishing pole so you can see the difference between the different levels of fishing pole. So if you are starting off with your basic beginner fishing pole and you're like, this is terrible, I hate it, then I am with you. I, When I first started fishing, hated it so bad that I did not bother fishing until I was forced to for this village. And that's when I realized once you get that second level of fishing pole, it makes a huge difference. But you can catch any of these fish with that second level as long as you're using bait and pulling it in. So here we've got some good sized fish. We're just going to try with level one, bring it in as close as we can. Not right on top of me because it's only a level one bait and we'll see if we can catch any of these fish attention. There we go. Having it this close, though, means I don't have to fight it as hard or as long. So there, we've caught it. I'm fighting it. It goes relaxed. I'm pulling it in. Now I'm going to fight it again. When it goes into the dormant, I'm going to pull it in a little bit more. And there we go. We've got our tuna right here. So the tuna and the mahi-mahi, they are great useful fish let's take a look at where we're at so right here this is where i caught the tuna this is where we got the mahi mahi but i've gotten both fish in both areas as well as um, sea bass in both areas as well i did want to just take a moment for a couple of extra tips i know people have asked multiple times where the anchovy is um that one's going to be difficult because you have to go through this area Go up here, build a bridge, build a bridge, go through this back area, build a bridge to get to this Valley of the Setting Sun statue. It is not a fast thing. It will take you several days to do it unless you have hoarded up a ton of uh, wood. Now, you'll want to make sure that you have this done during a summertime because this reef right here that will let you get from this beach over to this little beach island thing right here has not only the wisp, but let me show you what else it's got. So we're just going to run down here. I'm just going to ignore these walnuts, even though the walnuts are very useful um, to get your hardwood. I would recommend that every few days, if you need hardwood, feel free to warp down there and strip those trees so that you've got enough walnuts so that you can upgrade your hardwood when you're ready to do so. So here on this island, here in summer, there's this fishing pod right here. And these are small fish. I don't need any bait for it. I could use bait, but I'm, I'm not going to need it, especially with the master fishing rod. But let me just show you. This is the only place that you can catch this specific fish. They're not super hard. They tend to stay dormant for a long time. And that's your anchovy right there. Oh, that's a round herring. Hang on, we'll catch an anchovy really quick. That's the first time I've caught that fish there. So early on in the game, you're going to probably get a request for anchovies. This is the only place to get it. It is not easy to get to this place. It's kind of annoying when she asks for it, but there's your anchovy. I, don't, I think I might have that request. Let's see if I can find her. In my big long list of the requests. There she is. So you only need two of them. It doesn't take long to catch them, but that way if you've had this 
request request in there for a long period of time you want to get rid of it this is the only place and only in summer can you do it so that hopefully answers your questions on this one as well but that should help you guys both with unlocking both the fishing festivals and on uh, what you're going to need to fish and hopefully help you guys catch the fish that you need a lot earlier than what you were expecting. Um, thank you for watching and if you have any other requests for walkthroughs please feel free to reach out. You can leave a comment here. You can send me a message. Just let me know and have a great day.